In recent developments concerning the European Space Agency, ISA, and its Ariane 6 rocket program, significant shifts and challenges have emerged, impacting Europe's role in space missions and satellite launches. Ariane 6, touted as pivotal for ensuring independent European access to space, faces delays and competition from SpaceX, the American aerospace manufacturer. The ESA's efforts to maintain autonomy in space launches have encountered setbacks as SpaceX secures contracts traditionally held by Ariane 6. One such contract involves launching key weather satellites for the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, EUMETSAT. Originally planned for Ariane 6, this mission has now been reassigned to Space Access Falcon 9 rocket, highlighting Europe's frustration and the competitive pressures from across the Atlantic. ESA's strategic imperative with Ariane 6 was to reduce launch costs and increase flexibility, aiming to compete more effectively in the commercial satellite launch market. However, delays in Ariane 6 air deployment have tested Europe's resolve, especially as commercial satellite operators increasingly turn to SpaceX for reliable and cost-effective launch services. The implications are profound, as Europe grapples with maintaining its space industry's competitiveness and strategic autonomy. Amid these challenges, ISA continues to innovate and collaborate on other fronts. Projects like Peregrinus, a joint venture with European industry partners, showcase ESA's commitment to advancing space exploration technologies despite setbacks with Ariane 6. Peregrinus aims to leverage new propulsion technologies and modular spacecraft designs, potentially reshaping future ISA missions and collaborations. The dynamics between ESA's Ariane 6 and Space Access Falcon rockets underscore a broader narrative of global competition in the space industry. While Ariane 6 seeks to restore European independence in space launches, Space Access' success in securing critical contracts highlights the formidable challenges ahead. ESA's response will likely involve a combination of technological innovation, strategic partnerships, and policy adjustments to safeguard Europe's interests in space exploration and satellite services. As developments unfold, ESA's ability to navigate these challenges will be crucial for shaping the future of European space capabilities and international collaborations. The stakes are high, not just for ISA and its partners but also for the broader commercial space sector seeking reliable and cost-effective launch solutions.